This will be a quick video on how to download event logs on a Woodward EasyGen device. Also, we'll be adjusting the main settling time as well. So, connecting through your 232 port and opening up the Woodward toolkit, we're going to start by pressing connect, selecting your COM port, and hitting connect. Once you're connected, you can type in the password uh, 3 or 003. And once you're logged in, uh, you can go to status menu and you can go to diagnostic and event history. Uh, it will take a little time to populate. Once it does, you can hit export. And then you can just save your file uh, and review it. Uh, it will open up in a web browser. So if I, I've already saved one, so if I open this and I double click this file, it will open up this event list. Now the one thing is you have to look at your time clock to see if it's actually been set correctly, but it will go through and it will give you all these um, true and false statements uh, based on actions. So sometimes you'll get one for opening and closing a breaker uh, and then also you'll get one when uh, say a shutdown's been received and then, a sh and then it's been removed so, or acknowledged. So you can use this to help troubleshoot any issues you're having, having. As well, what we're gonna do is I'll just walk you through the steps to uh, change your main settling time. Uh, this is just a customer request. So if you go to your homepage and you go parameter, you go to monitoring, you go to mains, and then miscellaneous, this main settling time here, you can adjust a value that's more appropriate. So you could do, uh, say, it's like five minutes. Uh, so that what that'll do if you're using an auto mains fail feature, once you transfer to gen, it will stay on generator. Uh, when the utility is healthy, it needs to be healthy for five full minutes before it would transfer back to the utility. Now, during that five minutes, if the utility fails again, what will happen is uh, once it once it comes back, it will have to then count down that five minutes all over again. So, um, thanks.